Every practitioner of Stoic philosophy, whether it's a modern or an ancient Stoic, has constantly asked one simple question. Is it in my control? This question has stood the test of time and represents the core pillar of the whole philosophy. The key, of course, is that once you answer it, you concentrate all your focus on that which is indeed in your control, and you let go of all worries about that which is not. Epictetus, one of the most influential Stoics ever, explains this very well. Some things are within our power while others are not. Within our power are opinion, motivation, desire, aversion, and, in a word, whatever is of our own doing. Not within our power are our body, our property, reputation, office, and, in a word, whatever is not of our own doing. This concept is called the dichotomy of control, one of Stoicism's key concepts. It helps us understand what we have power over and what we don't. It gives us a way to approach problem solving by dividing things into two categories, things we can control and things we can't control. By focusing on what we can control, we become more effective in dealing with life's challenges. There's no doubt that applying the dichotomy to your everyday life struggles can provide many benefits. But it is quite a philosophical and theoretical concept, intertwined with many other aspects of Stoic ethics. It finds its place in discussion and analysis rather than functional application. Luckily though, William Irvine, in his bestseller, The Guide to a Good Life, expands on this practice and offers a revised and practical adaptation which you can easily apply in your day-to-day -day life. It's called the trichotomy of control. Instead of two, he divides things into three categories. Things we have complete control over, things we have no control over, and things we have only some control over. Number one, things we have complete control over. These are the things that we can directly control, such as our thoughts, actions, and attitudes. We have the power to choose how we respond to situations and how we shape our own behavior. Number two, things we have no control over. These are external factors that are beyond our influence, like other people's opinions, natural events, or the past. We cannot change these things, no matter how much we may wish to. And number three, the new category, things we have some control over. This category includes factors that are not entirely in our control, but can be influenced to some extent. For example, we can make efforts to communicate effectively, build relationships, or strive for certain goals. While we cannot control the outcomes, we can take actions that increase the likelihood of desired results. By applying this trichotomy, we can focus our energy and attention on the things we can control, accept the things we can't control, and make thoughtful choices about how we navigate the areas in which we have some influence. This practice will develop resilience, inner peace, and a greater sense of personal agency in your life. Thank you for watching. Good luck on your life's journey.